Welcome back to Craftsman David. We are once again standing in my backyard. You may remember my video from two years ago where I showed pulling out all of these shrubs and bushes with a chain and a truck. Well, here I am with this one, a stubborn tree. So what right there is the setting of the last Craftsman Dave. You can see I did put in that fence and I've done quite a number around this property taking out bushes. Unfortunately, this tree here was just a little bit too big to pull out with my truck. I actually tried and it stalled the truck. The footage would have been epic if I would have taped it. The fact that I failed to remove this tree leaves me with the question, what do I do about this? I gotta get this thing out, it's ugly. I thought about digging it out, but then I got an idea. It's only six foot apart. I thought, you know, under the right circumstances, I could even string a hammock in here. So here's my setup. I've strung a log chain between the two trees. I've got a farm jack in the center, and it's just like a reverse hammock. Just as when you lay in a hammock, you put pressure on those trees. This is the same thing, but upside down. So as I jack this up, it's going to pull tension on this chain. And because I have the jack closer to this tree, that tree gets more force. If you have two trees of equal size, put the jack closer to the tree you want to jack out. That'll give that tree more force than the other tree. It's just simple trigonometry, folks. So since my last video, I've learned a little bit more about log chains. I now know there are two types of hooks. There's a bigger hook and a smaller hook. The smaller hook will hook onto the chain link tightly and hold on the link. The larger loop will let the chain slide through like that. Now this one that lets the chain slide through is very useful for going around trees because it creates a noose. You see how it's tightening up as I pull it? This is the style of hook you want to go around a tree. This is the one you want to hook to your truck. So without further ado, let's start jacking and see what happens. Let me just take a break to show you what's happening. It's amazing how stable this is. I don't have the chain lashed to the jack, it's just sitting on it. The jack is sitting on a paver so it doesn't sink into the ground. And right now there's quite a bit of tension there. Look at how much damage this chain is doing to this trunk too. It's really sinking in. that the jack's going to tip this way. Well folks, now what I've done is I brought my truck into the equation. I've got a tow strap connected to the top of that jack to keep it from leaning back. It's still at a slight angle because I don't want it to flop forward either. Now I'll keep jacking. The tow strap is absorbing my weight as I pump. This is making it much easier to jack. I almost don't weigh enough. It's actually getting a little easier now. I've reached the point of maximum load. It's coming down. The back side is what's starting to lift. Watch. That's it, that's the top of the jack. Now I'm gonna let the jack down. Here's the aftermath. With it weakened, the truck was able to pull it out. Man, look at the size of that root ball. And hey, what's this? Oh my goodness. It's a slab of concrete. Well, that's a nasty surprise. There. That can just stay there for a while. Like, a few years. Just like last time, I'm using the sawzall to separate the branches from the root ball.
Then the branches can be hauled away to the road to await the chipper. As for this big root ball, I'm just going to knock as much dirt off of it as possible while it's here in the dirt area. And then I'm going to throw it in the trash. In our municipality, they tell you to throw roots and sticks in the trash, so that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, I could let it dry and burn it. It also helps to just give the whole thing a shake. Now when I pulled it up, it left a streak of dirt on my lawn. I want to save the grass here, so I'm going to shovel it back in. The best way to do that is with a flat nose shovel, just scrape it off. Doing a gentle raking like this will bring the grass above the dirt so that the sun can hit it and it'll grow through that. Here sits all the sticks and roots that'll go in the trash, and then along the road all the branches sit ready for the chipper to come by. I hope today's video helped you overcome a tree problem of your own. Thanks for watching.